Yeah. Big shout out first to Michelle at Michelle Designs for the gifts for the trip. A very nice gift box that we got and this is like a double side wall coffee mugs. Keep our coffee warm. Use the rod. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, firstly, maybe before you go on a trip, it's very important to test your equipment. Make sure your winch is in a working condition. Give it a quick service. <laughs> I'm getting you um, is doing a quick service on it and then um, none of the stuff that is with us on this trip is any sponsored. This is stuff that we sell in the, uh, that we sell in the shop. So before we actually say, listen here, come buy this stuff, we're going to test this stuff so to make, make sure that whatever is on the market available and what we sell to the customers to fit to the vehicles is of high and good quality. Uh, because one thing you don't want is a breakdown or a thing doesn't work or a battery system fails. Uh, stuff can go wrong, but um, it's very important for us also to explain to the customer how your setup is working. So if anything goes wrong, you know how to fix it as well. Yeah. Yeah. So none of the stuff is sponsored, and everything that you can see on all of the vehicles is supplied by Fipart as well. Yeah, yeah. Everything we do here or we have here is is, is in the shop available. All of the fitments was done there at the shop. Yeah. Um, so big shout out to Christy and the team there as well. They did very well. Um, thanks, you guys. <laughs> So then I think a big shout out or a must have first, let's start with a must have on the trips is a two way radio communication uh, at one stage in the vehicle we also had a chat about it is that um, wherever we drove we had to communicate continuously not just for um, saying hi to one another but talk about potholes and cattle and vehicles coming along and road everything. Yeah. Your road conditions. Yeah, <laughs> they did they teach us. Um, you have the MTEC antenna? Uh, fiberglass one, uh, the one point one meter one, yes. and the range is fabulous. Yeah, I mean, at one stage we were what close to what twenty kilometers away from each other. Yes, when we were in Mount, I think. Yes, yes, you drove so long, and then yes. we were still in Mount busy. Yeah, so, Intec delivered <laughs> definitely. <laughs> definitely. Yeah, and then uh, the other thing that we <laughs> used a lot <laughs> was the winches. Yeah, you got a tungsten. Tungsten and yours. Yeah, so the tungsten worked out. Uh, I've got a warn on it. Um, I had to self recover a few times. Yeah. <laughs> then we had to recover the vehicle and the pans as well. Yeah, it was uh, first a Land Cruiser, uh, a 79 series, that we're trying to help the FJ Cruiser. Yeah, with the but, yeah, then he got stuck, and then we pulled him out, and then we got the FJ on double winch. Yes, yeah. So we had the, the Cruiser and the uh, Amarok with the tungsten and the warm here. We double winch the FJ the caravan. Yeah, it's a Jurgen caravan as well, yeah. Yeah, the one thing that we saw guys on the pants did wrong, and it's very important, is <coughs> you lost your shackle. <laughs> um, is you get rated recovery points, and then you get your recovery points that usually already fitted to your vehicle when you say, okay, buy it, but it's not for recovery purposes, it's just for towing purposes. So it's not rated, so it's not made to take that strain of a recovery so please don't do recovery on your normal points that come standard of the vehicle aftermarket bumper is nice it's very good it usually comes with the rated um, recovery points so you make use of that also with rated D shackles otherwise it can kill you and that seriously can kill you um, I think another shout out is the quick pitch awnings is yeah yeah they are so much better than the one that I had on the cruiser previously, I don't know what brand it was, I'm not going to mention any brands in any case, but this one specifically just lasts and lasts, um, you can put it up in severe wind, it just stays on, um, love the brand, it's quick and easy to fold up as well, so uh, yeah, big shout out to Quick Pitch and Afipad for supplying uh, this one specifically to my vehicle, I know all the vehicles that we've got here, uh, it's got a Quick Pitch on, and uh, Oh, that's the one brand I definitely endorse uh, in the sense of quality wise. Um, yeah. We tested out their new Aero Slimline um, rooftop tent as well now on the Amarok. Uh, that was nice. That was, a, it was, was nice. I'm so yeah. glad we did that one. I, it was awesome, it's quick and easy as well, can leave the bedding inside now, so that takes a lot of space out of... Um, but it also reduces your wind uh, compared to the... Um, the, the soft shell, yes. Uh, I, and I must say, um, I was not a fan of the big hard shells because it's quite boxy and everything, but on the Amarok this mm -hmm. one looks quite slim, right? it's very, very nice. 
Yeah, on, on the on the pants we did this quick pitch where the shade, the wind just blew and it no, just did it. It, didn't, it wasn't even pegged into the ground. So The nice thing I like about <coughs> this, specifically, when you open it in the back, there's some, still some space for a light that you can put in. There's yes. even enough space for a JBL and the punishment this bags took yesterday yeah. with the, 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 the uh, branches yeah. and everything, it just lost. So yeah, no, that's awesome. Yeah, then I must have a, a shout out to the guys from Tough Talk. Um, I have an aftermarket suspension and everybody always, as, as we drove, they say, it's just road is corrugated and it goes like this and what road? So big shout out, it worked amazing. It was, as we hit the ditch, it's like a doof doof and it comes just settle back and get it back to stable. So um, a big shout out, this suspension did extra hard work on this trip and I'm just quite amazed. We are quite loaded, very heavy loaded at the back and it stands perfect and amazing and the shocks just didn't yeah, stop. I was... I was most of the time on the bad roads behind you and then Nico was behind us and the movement in the vehicle itself with the suspension is amazing mm. um, there's almost no movement in the vehicle uh, when you said you hit the ditch okay we've got a caravan on so it's obviously 10 times yeah. worse. but there was no bounciness there was no roll in the vehicle um, there was nothing like the vehicle's back oh. went sideways on the corrugations or anything like yeah. that yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I, on a previous trip of the Triton, um, every time we hit it, it just it was going down, de, de, and it comes to a stop. Mm -hmm. This one was doof, doof, and it's straight, and you can go on again. So, no, no big shout out to those guys as well. No tough talk, I must say, this is a, a, definitely a good, good option on the vehicle. Yeah. I think that'll be the next thing I'll do on the cruiser. So I think everything was tested to the utter, yeah. <laughs>